Sussex by the sea. Always an inviting prospect. Welcome everyone to the Amex Stadium. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Brighton and Hove Albion up against Arsenal. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Lewis Dunk, number 20. Sonny March, number 13. Pascal Gross, number 8. Ives Basuma, number 11. Leandro and the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Lewis Dunk plays alongside Shane Duffy in central defence. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Bernd Leno is the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And the striker today is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Thank you, the Amex Stadium. Enjoy the game. And so the battle commences. Nicolas Pepe. Now with Aubameyang. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Martin Odegaard. March. It's with Welbeck. Could cross it in here. March. Can they take the lead here? Still alive. And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to an attacker, and the finish is excellent. On they go again, and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. Martin Odegaard, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Thomas now, Granit Xhaka, Thomas, now let's see what they can do here, Xhaka with it, well they're eyeing that final pass you just feel, putting his body on the line, Neil Mopé. Mopé. Crossing possibilities. Gross. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Nicolas Pepe. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. And snuffing out the danger.
Bukayo Saka. Pierre Emerick Obama Young. An effective ball. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Obama Young at the ready. Well, he failed to get it away properly. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Over it comes. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Well, as the stats tell us, Brighton have been second best in terms of possession. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Tremendous challenge. An attack full of promise. Ball's gone. Thomas now with Obama Young. Saka Tierney. Well, that's the kind of play you want from your defender. And take it away. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Trossard. Welbeck. Now in possession, Trossard. Bissouma. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Now the delivery and an effective clearance. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. And a fine tackle. Obama Young. It's with Erdegaard. Saka. Promising looking ball. Obama Young. Top class defending. March. March. And now with Kosar. Bisuma. And the pass, a good one. Bisuma. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Tierney. Jacker with it. Martin Erdegaard. Bukayo Saka. Promising sequence. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Bisuma. It is to be a throw-in. 
There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Substitution for Arsenal. Coming off the pitch, number 14, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal have had most of the possession, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Bukayo Saka. Jacka with it. Moving the ball effectively. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Connolly. Chance to do damage. And let's give credit to the defending. So almost at full time, and the home side on course to eke out a narrow win. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack, and of course they've been well organised at the back. They just need to see this through now. The clock is against Arsenal, but what can they pull out of the fire here? Martin Odegaard. Crossing into the middle. And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. And five minutes to go. Well, just listen to this atmosphere. It's been such a tight game, but the fans are certainly doing their bit in trying to get them over the finish line. Now a decent position. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. time it is Nicolas Pepe and the electronic board delivers the news two minutes of stoppage time Thomas and that is going to do it. The referee blows for full time. Brighton and Hove Albion have picked up maximum points. How would you sum it up? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, he was excellent today and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.